Hey everybody, it's Krista with Remax Gold, and today I thought I'd talk about buyer love letters. So it used to be back in the day that when a buyer is up against multiple offers, they had the opportunity to submit a, a letter, a video, photos about their family um, as to why getting the home would improve their life. And uh, it was a great way to stand out um, amongst the other offers. Well, let's address that because nowadays it's not such a great idea and I'll tell you why. Back in October 2020, the um, Federal Housing and Discriminatory Advisory, this little form here, was actually added to the Residential Purchase Agreement, um, not encouraging those buyer love letters because it could put sellers at risk. Okay, so let's talk a little bit more about that. Um, as you know, California, we have equal housing access to all under the Federal uh, Fair Housing Act. Uh, so it uh, protects certain um, classes here in California. Um, and who is to comply with that act? Well, sellers. So uh, one of the um, uh, issues that are putting sellers at risk during a escrow transaction is accepting those buyer love letters. Because even though a seller does not have a discriminatory intent, it could lead to a discriminatory effect. So let me give you an example. An example would be uh, reading a letter that um, uh, they have a family, um, the buyer is a family, and it would be a perfect home because the family needs room to grow. And uh, you as a seller have a family as well, and that is exactly what happened uh, with your situation. And so you tend to go more towards that buyer versus a buyer that has the same terms, the same offer, and uh, someone that doesn't have kids. So even though you are, as a seller, are not intentionally discriminatory over somebody else or discriminating over somebody else, it could be construed that way. So as a seller, you really wanna be careful with those buyer love letters. Now again, this is only an advisory, right? So uh, you still can, as a seller, accept those love letters if you really want to. However, me as a listing agent, highly recommend against it. Just looking at the contracts that come in, you look at the terms, you look at the financing, you look at the offer price, you don't want to know uh, what type of family is going to be moving into your home. You want to make that decision based on numbers. Again, just to protect yourself, okay? So if you have any questions, let me know, 707-338-1622. Uh, and have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.